Robin Alexandra, if you want to keep your tomatoes and peppers from dying because of the expected freeze Friday night, you'll want to cover them. And I talked with two experts on how to do it. Temperatures are dropping fast in the metro, and it's time to start thinking about protecting the plants that can't survive in colder temperatures. Sensitive foliage like this can incur damage from the frost. One way to protect plants like peppers, tomatoes, and certain annuals is by covering them. So you can use, we have specifically frost cloth, you can use burlap or an old bed sheet, just something lightweight and breathable. So what we're trying to do is trap the earth's warmth. And even though it doesn't seem like it's warm, it's at least warmer than the ambient air temperature. Lanahan Nursery's customer service manager, Helen Hubbard, says the plants should be covered right as the sun is setting. Typically, you want to place your cover before dusk so that that way the, the uh, temperature, the air temperature is warmer. We'll be trapping a little bit more heat in there and then remove the cover the next day once the, uh, the temperatures begin to rise. Nebraska Extension educator John Fetch says to be practical with what you're trying to protect. Very large plants are really very difficult to try to protect from this type of, uh, this type of environmental impact. And there's some plants you don't even have to worry about. These mums in the front, mm -hmm. they're pretty tough uh, perennials. They're not going to be injured by 30 degrees. It would right. take to get into the mid-20s for them to really cause okay. too much damage. Well, the freeze isn't all bad. Experts say that this freeze will most likely kill plants like ragweeds and foxtails that cause allergies. Reporting live, Waverly Monroe, KETV, Newswatch 7.